Want more Patty Mayo? You can watch hours of brand new, unreleased episodes by clicking the join button and becoming a member. Check out these episodes available to members now. Oh my god. That's illegal! I told you I had a f warrant that's what's up! No, he wants it. Oh! oh. CJ? Oh my god! I don't give a f Get the gun out. Shoot him. Put him down! Okay, go! Don't wait for the next episode or the one after that. Click join to become a member and start binge watching right now. Do you understand your rights? Or I'll put my gun over your shoulder and use you as a shield. Their trash thinks so fing bad. There's some hippie about to come out. Why you always look like you're burglarizing something? He's like, I was gonna start shooting him, but Harvey got in the way. The word of the day is, I'm taking the key. <laughs> so sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. What's up guys, I'm Patty Mayo. Welcome to the hunt. Right now I'm meeting up as usual, 424 and 469. We just got done booking and processing Amir Abdul. Yes sir, yes sir which is probably the last episode you guys saw. And now we got an arrest warrant for John Richardson, burglary. Once you meet up at our uh, rendezvous point here, I'll give you guys the info. So John Richardson, burglary. Let's see if we get some more information like priors, shit like that. This is a- uh, I see alert, open warrant. By the way, I need y'all to subscribe to Trevor cause he is hurting right now. He got smashed in the face by a door on one of the episodes. 61180 black over black. How you feeling? Great. Last one of the night. Yeah. We get through this one, and then one more day. And then? Then you can finally rest. Then my eye can fall out, my shoulder can fall off. He's, Trevor's going into surgery in like three days. Um, so we got John Richardson, burglary warrant, 61180, black over black. This is associated address but not address of record. This will be related to Alaya DeZeus probation for 420. Yes. <laughs> so he has to comply. Right. Um, yeah, 3322. Two, two. Okay, so. So dumb that they put people on probation out here for weed. Yeah, this also, this burglary, um, no priors on Mr. Richardson. Just this. The only thing apart. His first charge ever is burglary? First charge ever. How's that happen? I don't know. Or we got a down database or something like that. Yeah. You ready? So I'm thinking, um, go ahead. Uh, it's probably gonna be a neighborhood, well, it's just like these houses here. Yeah, single so story. Probably if they got, if they have one car in the driveway, it's gonna limit us. I'll try to get a car on the lawn and try to get one or two in the drive. Copy that. And then we'll try to have, we'll have 469 run on the six before we, what if 469 parks a few houses down, runs on the six and then we pull up hot front. Okay. I'll do that. I heard it. You're gonna pull a few houses down, park park a few houses down with your running lights on. Just like, you know, your headlights off, you use your running lights so we don't hit your car. Uh, not your top yeah, lights. Yeah, 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 okay. my regular. Okay, not flashers. Okay. Running lights. This is called a running light. Does oh, get... okay, okay. okay. The... Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, and then uh, radio us when you're on the six. Gotcha. And then we'll roll hot front. The associates 510 I apologize, he's 510 225, also black over brown. And 469, you can take the ball whenever you're ready. We're just gonna slow roll. John Richardson. 
Probably take him. I think you're okay if you park like one and a half houses away. So usually, if you guys remember when we did bail bonds, we would rely on address of record for our allowance into the house. In this case, we are relying on um, a coast. I don't have an asshole in front of me who's literally afraid, I guess, because he's going less than the speed limit. Probably because he's carrying 100 pounds of something he's not supposed to. Um, Want to skip the house and just pull this guy over? In this, in this case, um, we're relying on the fact that he's on active, active probation, which means he has to comply with law enforcement. So if he doesn't um, allow us just to simply come in and search, then we can just simply arrest him and then go in and do our search. We don't know it, what the detective's information has that led us here. We just get this pretty little paper in this pretty little orange folder and now you get to see everybody go all the way down to jail. They go down to Dutchberry County Jail because their town is cool. Our town is cool and has a jail. You just saw Harvey running to the six. There's no access to the to the six on that side. What? There's no access to the six oh, on this shit. side. I'm going to knock in because I got a ring doorbell. Two cameras over here in this corner. Sheriff's office. Looking for Elijah. Two chairs here on the board. I'm assuming this is where they hang out. Is your name Elijah? What's up? Okay, your name's Elijah. My name is Patrick. I'm with the sheriff's office. You're on probation, which requires you to comply with law enforcement. At this time, I'm telling you that I'm looking for this person, John Richardson. I have an arrest warrant for him. Our detectives believe he's inside your house. Now, whether that's true or not is to be determined. However, if you comply with us and allow us to search your house, you will not be arrested. If you do not comply with law enforcement, your bonds, I'm sorry, your probation will be violated. You will go to jail. Do you understand those demands? What'd you say, that's what we're we are the sheriff's office. We're demanding entrance to this residence to search for this person on this paper right here, Mr. John Richardson. The reason you have to the reason you have to comply with my request is that you're on probation, which re 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 requires you to comply with law enforcement at any time on probation. And if you do not comply with us, we will violate your probation, arrest you, and then search the house. Whether he's inside or not will be irrelevant at that point. We'll either have one or two of you in custody. Do you understand your rights? Yeah, but that's kind of crazy. How many people are home? How many people are inside the house? Nobody in. Okay, so you have no problem with us searching? Is this you home? Yeah, this me. So you have no problem with us searching? Yes, sir. Okay, can you come out and sit right here? Of course you can. It's crazy. I think he's going towards the garage. When's the last time anybody was here? There was a door that was pretty open. Do you mind standing up just so I can make sure you don't have any weapons on you? I don't want someone behind me with a knife or a gun, bro. You feel me? That'd be f***ing awful. Turn around. You don't need to put your hands like that. You can put them up right here. Go ahead, spread your feet apart. Yeah, we have compliance at the front. Phone. I'm just gonna put it right here. Contact front door compliant. Hey, that there's a male with a face mask. He is also inside the house. I had eye contact with him. Not eye contact, but I saw him 100% with my eyes. He went towards the, the kitchen slash garage. Okay, so now. Now the game's changed, huh? You lied to us. So you are being placed under arrest. Have him come to take him. 
try to make these comfortable, but they're not gonna be that comfortable. Hang your hands. Have him come get him. Four, six, nine. We have one detained. Please come around front and put him in the vehicle. Who's in the house? Before I use you, uh, use you as a human shield, who's in the house? Bro, I'll, 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 I'll bring you in as a shield, bro. Bro, I'll put my gun over your shoulder and use you as a shield. You feel? Where did he go? He was, as you, he opened the door, he had a dude in white, black, white shorts with a face mask. So why shouldn't I use you as a shield then? Should I use you as a shield just in case? Yeah, he's on the right side. Just in, I'm just making sure no one on the right and the right hand side, bro. Okay, well we're gonna make sure together, aren't we? You want me to bring my car around? What's that? You want me to bring my car around? Nah, you can take him. You can take him, take him to the car. Compliant, he's compliant, no charges. You complying? Where's your homeboy at? Oh, f Four, two, four, you're covering the right side. What am I supposed to be going looking for, garage? I'm on the fair, there's an open door in the garage and apparently 469 made eye contact with someone moving this direction. Their trash thing's so fucking bad. My God. Oh God. I wish there was smell vision so you guys had to deal with it. Sheriff's office, anybody inside? Announce yourself now. Blue, blue, blue. Hello? Blue. Hello? Blue. Oh, blue. I thought you were saying hello. No, I was saying blue. Dude, blue. you sounded like you're saying fucking hello. Hello? Hello? I'm not a fucking surfer, dude. Hello? So it's not like you're saying, dude. I thought someone was, and then you open that and there's there's the lights from the cars yeah. and I'm like, no. oh, there's a grow room, yes. No. There's some hippie about to come out. And there and you come popping. All right, you got a light. I got less. Huh? Come inside, please. Is he cool? Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, he, I got no. That's fine. I need you to hold right here, though. I got you. So look, you open the door. He was standing right there. I'm at the sliding door. He what? You were standing right there. I was standing right there. And he was here. He was standing right there. And he went in there. Doing this. He was doing this as you were there on the on the. He was doing this. And so then you saw him go where? Whoop! Right back into that corner. You saw him go in here. I'm hoping he didn't travel back into this side, but it doesn't matter. Garage door was slightly open, creaked open, but no, no sign of anybody. Right here. Back up. I heard it. Whoever's in this room, I need you to make yourself known right now as the Dutchbury Sheriff's Office. Who y'all looking for, man? Mr. Johnson. Richardson. Richardson. Sorry, all d names. Yeah, fuck you. Mr. Richardson, I need you to show me your hands. There's his hand. Put both your hands on the other side of that curtain. If you do not do that, He's on the you'll be met with less lethal force. I need That's his head. Man. That's his head on the that. left. You're not doing any. Why are you in a mask? Why do you always look like you're burglarizing something? And that wouldn't even mean you that. Now you know why we're here. So you know why we're here. And it's in a pretty orange folder on my hood. Says arrest warrant for burglary. I need you to make both your hands visible to me so we both feel safe. And if you don't feel, if, if you feel safe, you shouldn't. What? Nah, man. Nah. Nah, what? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Y'all gonna shoot me. I don't trust it. I'm not gonna shoot you. The curtain is not gonna stop a bullet, just so you know. Go less. Okay, I want you to come out on my right side of the bed, which is your left side of the bed. That way. Well, it would be that way. No, that way. That's fine. No, see, there's a thing in the way. Go to the other. Go to the other way. Go the other way. Turn around. Face away. Face away. Face away. Exactly. Give us your back. Good job. Now back up towards me on the right side of this bed. Slowly. Slowly. Watch out with your TV. Oh, shit. Oh, a bitch. A. Keep facing away from me. Come back. Two more steps. Two more steps. 
Keep facing away from me. Put your hands on the back of your head and lock your fingers. Interlace your fingers. You're really, you're really gonna do that? Stop. Stop moving and go down to your knees. Stop moving and go down to your knees. Mr. Go to your knees. Go to your knees. I need you to get on your ground on the ground, on your knees right now. I got bad knees. Man. Okay. So do I. Then move quick. There we go. Both knees. Both knees. Both of them. You still got them at less? Both of them. Yep. He's gonna run. Oh, he's gonna try it. Try it, mother It's gonna hurt. Okay, calm down. Really, really, really. Ah. really? Jumped on the fattest guy. Right, right. You okay? You good. <laughs> try to get that down. <laughs> All right, Harvey, let him go. Let him go. You're good now. Good job. Almost got that rib shot, except Harvey's nice and big. What hit me? Got anything on you? Why are you always wearing a mask? Every photo I see. Yo, man. That's better. Because he has a shitty fing. Yo. Pull these up. Yo, I wanna do a technical joke. That's it. No, no, I wanna go home. I ain't even doing nothing, man. That wasn't even me, man. Stand up. That wasn't even me. What wasn't you? That wasn't even me. What? That was a little burgundy, man. You mentioned that before I did. Yeah. Nice way of renting yourself out, man. I can't even see. Why? Oh, yeah. Hold on, I gotta check the fridge. Gotta check the fridge. Suspicious activities. Ah, oh, Arizona! Is it a good one? Yeah. Is it an Arnold? No. How did y'all find that way? was that? What's that? Yeah. This, um, what's his name? Elijah? Yeah. Elijah. Elijah is a co-signer um, listed on your bond. Not a co-signer, a reference listed on your bond. He's on probation. And we figured, well, we just start checking people so that you know. Saying, told him. No, he didn't say shit. He actually didn't say no, we came and just told him, hey, bro, you're on probation, so if you don't let us search your house and you check to see if to your, home is, your home is here. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah, he lied to us. I ain't doing nothing. I'm getting out. I ain't he told us there's no one here while Harvey's on the radio telling us there's a second guy in the car. Who's got a cuff key that can loosen these up a little bit? You're putting them in yours? No, we're going to put them in yours. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, we're taking his buddy too, right? Um, fuck it for the hell of it. Take him. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, I guess. Uh, that's fucked up. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you for not pressing charges. <laughs> like, I appreciate you so much, bro. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a game. I thought, I thought, I, thought I, was, I thought I was not going to be able to eat a cheeseburger for like a month having to pay you back. I ain't worrying about nothing. I bet you know that. Get in there. I ain't worrying about nothing. You ain't worried about nothing. Four, six, nine. We're going to cut the friend loose. Elijah's getting cut loose. Yeah. All right, I'm cutting them loose. Elijah, do me a favor, man. Can you step out for me? I'm just saying, though, bro. You're cool. Told him, bro. You're gonna have to go ahead and call your PO. Let him know what happened tonight. But beyond that, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with us. So turn around. I'm gonna get you off the handcuffs, boss. I just, uh, I would let you know, it is illegal for you to go ahead and associate yourself with other known people. Well, he knows he can get a charge for. No, no, I'm just letting him know. I'm just letting him know he, got he knows he lied to us and yeah. he knows his boy was inside. I don't know, you're telling them that he's not in there. I'm in the backyard watching your homeboy look over your shoulder. Yeah, I ain't know nobody was in there, bro. All right, head back, back inside. Back to the house. Right, right inside the house. So you don't say anything else. To, really? Nah, I don't give a f bro. Freedom of speech, bro. The two little fingers out here. We give the guy a gift and that's how he treats us. Exactly. Yeah, well, now let's take his friend to f jail. All the neighbors out here having a hoot. Bro, the neighbors, the neighbors love these people. They came outside. Dude, his probation officer is going to see this. He's going to violate him anyways. Oh, f***. All right. What's f***ed up? What's f***ed up? I don't know how you know. What am I getting charged? You're getting charged for being dumb beyond belief. Dude, I was standing right by the freaking window as I'm watching you, trying to hide. Dude, you're like standing there just chilling, and then you just go to the garage. Bro, you know that fucking saw everything. Thank you, I appreciate it. You just made my day. Nah, dude, I do worry about it, bro, because you, you're, uh, you're a tough looking dude, bro. You're a tough looking dude and you didn't give us any fight, bro. I'm happy. You know, your homeboy didn't tell on you. 
Your homeboy, your homeboy actually kept it 100. The only reason why we didn't bring them is because we're not trying to do all that extra paperwork. Next time, next time is actually worse. So just, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. As sheriffs, we do not like doing this, bro. We don't like ripping you out of your house, getting into the confrontation. Bro, we would rather for you to come in nice, help us out, get you in and out of this shit. I hope you know you're gonna be in and out within two hours. We're gonna bond you out. I'm pretty sure you're bondable. I'm pretty sure you're bondable, bro. You think, you think we wanna keep you here all night? We're not trying to do that. We're human too, bro. We wanna go home. Didn't you see my boss? Didn't you? Bro, it's the same thing my boss is like, I wanna go home. Now we gotta go through all the bullshit of you having to go. You decided to fight. I feel real bad for Trevor because he got his eye f***ed up. I know he's rocking a concussion and his shoulder has been needing surgery for a long time. He's finally gonna get it in a couple days. We got today and tomorrow to get through and then he's good to go. I'm the one who did you, bro, because you, you tried to run. We were trying to be nice. You would have gotten away if I wasn't there. If anybody wasn't there, because if not, you would have met the other two. And the other two are way more fucked up than I am. I was actually nice to you. You didn't hear what my boss said? He's like, I was going to start shooting him, but Harvey got in the way. So I got and saved you, bro. <laughs> that I just literally held you down for a bit. Because if not, if not, you were about to get the pressure for real. He was about to start shooting you. Okay, ah, there's no, there's no point. So he's in custody. Um, we're about 15 minutes away from the jail. See you guys at the jail. Look, what my boss says, it's not a joke, it's a fact. We're about to go to the jail, the dogs are at the jail. We've been breeding those motherfuckers. They in love. You, they, oh, you do burglary? <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're gonna rob a police station where there's someone 24 <laughs> seven? There's an officer there sitting all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna go and rob us? You're, you're, you're a genius, bro. <sighs> You know that the car's being recorded, right? Yeah. yeah. And you just said you're gonna go rob us. <laughs> Bro, that's great. I don't even feel like saying that out loud. Bro, you you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's 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 a lot of I know there isn't, there's a lot of street smart people. And I know you probably know a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna let you know you're not smarter than all three of us. You could probably outsmart me. You could probably outsmart one of us in, in individual, but there's three of us and there's three people thinking at the same time, bro. That's why no one ever really gets away from us. Because there's three great minds not thinking alike. And we're thinking outside of the box all the fucking time. Bro, I knew exactly where you were, bro. I knew it, bro. I literally, I, I dragged you. The last guy didn't even have a shirt or shoes. He was about to get no service. That, mo that guy, that guy walked out. Booty naked, bro. He didn't even have his fuck, his forehead on, basically. He forgot his toupee. I'm going to because, bro. Because, man. We know who you are. We know exactly who you are. We identified you. Then I saw you at a house, and then you went to go hide. If you didn't have anything to hide, you would have walked right outside the front door with your homeboy. Gone and been like, hey, look, I don't got anything. I'm going to go fix this right now. I'll be out in the next hour or two, and that's it. But you did it. You ended up coming out. All scared, got into a fight. You feel me? And the thing is that you don't even know what we have against you. There are no, no, this is not a threat. This is a warning. That anything that you would consider aggression towards us does get taken care of. So. That sounds like a threat. I was giving you a warning so it doesn't get crazy. Cause you didn't get you didn't get shot with the you didn't get shot with the burner, a non-lethal one first, but you definitely could get it later. What was lucky? What was lucky? What was lucky is that your homeboy didn't go to jail with him. What was lucky is that you didn't get shot. That was luck. Hundred percent, dude. Everything else, according according to the plan, honestly. You know what, bro? You 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 want to know you want to know the best part? That you were probably one of the easiest people we've caught in the last few months. I swear to God, I, pff, bro, we got, we got, pff, we got in and out. We weren't even at your house for 30 minutes. Usually we'll spend at least an hour and a half out there. Not even 30 minutes. We're about to be, we got to your house at nine. It's 9.37. We're about to start processing you, bro. This has probably been one of the easiest processings that I've ever done. And then we go, we gonna, me and you, bro, me and you, we're going to go hit the club, bro. F it.
I'm gonna hit the club out. Why not? I'm a cop, bro. I get, I get exactly. Exactly. Be a CI with me, bro. Be my little informant. Tell me what's happening in the street. Go to the club with me and then we'll be, I'll give you a badge and everything. I'll get on the speaker and I'll be like, yo, my confidential informant in the house. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, basically, if you haven't seen an episode where we bring them to jail, I actually think we should probably put a transport camera in each of the cages so we have like a steady GoPro on them. I think that'll make it better for you guys. Anyways, we take them up to our uh, our Sally Port. Corporal, Corporal Mayo bullies me in the parking lot. You saw that? You made me move. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the comments is gonna be like, he's always mean to Harvey. <laughs> Does he have any property? Hmm? Does he have any property? I don't think so. Hardly had anything when we checked him out. You checked, you, uh, one of us, I searched him, I searched. We did like a, a cursory like pat down when we were there. I don't think he had anything on him. All right, you can take a step out. Fuck. Me and my partners are right here, so don't do anything stupid. All right, bro. Damn, bro, really? We're arm in arm right now, like if we're getting married and you're gonna be like that with me. I can't get married to your fat ass. Maybe if you slim down. Maybe if I slim, wow. He's fat phobic. He, he's fat phobic, dude, you heard him? He's like, I'm cute, but if I lost some weight. <laughs> All right, get in here, bro. And guess what, you got to keep the handcuffs too. Congratulations. Nah, you can take the handcuffs off him. Okay, turn around. See, this is the part right here. This is the part right here? You wanna swing at me? No, don't do that, Mr. Richardson. Swing. No. Don't do that, Harvey. Don't antagonize Mr. Richardson. De-escalation, Harvey. It's a whole new game. Yeah. That's the word, bro. I keep forgetting about it. God damn it. It's like a Sesame Street word. The word of the day is, I'm taking the key. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for uh, checking how good we did a great job. So now we have um, a non-compliant inmate, so we can't search his inventory. He did he have, he had no property on him. Do we take the black black mask off him or whatever? Whatever. It's still on his face. Okay, so no 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 property. Can't get his mugshot, his fingerprint, vitals, place into holding. Can't do anything. Start the timer. You guys thirsty? Hungry? Oh, look at him. What's that? Look at them. They grew up so fast. Is he calming down? Not really. He's yeah. just pacing. You you remember that? Uh, you don't help. You know that, right? I was quiet the whole time in the car. Yeah, we're trying to get him processed in, into into a regular cell so he can bond out. Dude, he. And I, I haven't go, done anything. I haven't said anything. When I was unhandcuffing him, this is like this is where it's at. This is where it goes. So I told him, go ahead, swing. I didn't do anything. That's not my fault. Well, yeah, no, you you were antagonizing. He didn't do anything, not you. Yeah, yeah. You did yeah. something. No, you. I did something. Yes. He told me he was gonna hit me. No, you antagonized. No, I didn't. Every time. No, I didn't. I did not antagonize him. Everyone we bring oh, into booking. This was the moment, and I told him go ahead. Everybody we bring into booking, you antagonize. It's like you you enjoy it. It's like you enjoy making my shift longer. I don't make your shift longer. Okay, well, I flagged him for aggressive behavior. Uh, we'll do his intake screening. While he's while he's there, and locked in. I'm not even gonna look over there. I don't want to get con complaints that I'm contributing to their bad behavior. <laughs> you gonna mock me again, fat boy? No, I'm talking to him. I was mocking him. I just quietly take notes. Right, go check with go check on him, and then I'll. You you want to go with me, son? No, you just open. You get you get in the first door. That's why we have an airlock. You make sure he's in his cell, and then you unairlock un him. You wanna move the process along? We gonna get along and we're gonna go to the next room and we're chill? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to see if he's the, the, the go ahead and then I was gonna come and let you know that he's ready. You ready? I can let them know that we're good to go and we, we start this process? So we don't gotta, can say, bro, it's hot as hell in here. Okay, give me a second. Like between here and there, the near and everyone's always like, you're so mean to Harvey, you're so mean to Harvey, you're so mean to Harvey. You don't have to put up with him and pay him. He He's ready. 
No, he could wait a second. I'll be in there in one second and give him an intake screening. Hey, Harvey, could you just walk to the next room and hand me that piece of paper? And he would go Actually, like you know across the building and come back. With Should we make Harvey four. just take the cart in there and do the vitals in there? You you oh, you look you fuck. you look like we could be friends, bro. Outside, no. you you look at you, bro. No, man. Since we're a new uh, new facility, we have these nice little flow charts to get an inmate. Check boxes keep us in line. Yes, they do. And the next check box is mugshot, fingerprints, then vitals. Well, he went to go check. Well, I need an intake screening. Print intake screening form. I'm trying. I am trying. Wish it would. If he's ready, I can do mugshot fingerprint. Do you want me to check on him? Yeah, if you determine he's ready, then bring him into here. Thank you, Harvey. I'll take it from here. I'll take it from here. Thank you. I'll get it. Right, he's been good. We, we we made friends. You fat bitch over there don't know how to talk to nobody. Harvey, thank you. I got it. How you doing, sir? Good. Here's the thing. We're going to walk out of here. We're going to go back down. Right over there, you see through that window? Right. We're gonna do your mugshot, your fingerprints, your vitals, get you ready for bond, and then we'll come back in here as soon as the bond's ready. The bond clerks will come up and take care of you. All right. Are you good? I'm good. All right, come on, sir. Anytime we're in the hallways, just hands behind your back. Appreciate you. We're gonna keep your hands on the counter while he searches you. Do you have any property on you? Don't. You have earrings? No. Necklaces? No. It's a legitimate question. You give it to her? Yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Huh? I, I'm going to later. All right, do me a favor, step back here. You're going to step toes right up to the line right there. Okay? You're going to look straight forward in just one second. He's going to be ready. Has Arresty engaged in any assaultive or violent behavior? Yes. No. Well, technically, no. Yeah. He didn't really do anything. He laid on a bed. He made a move. He, he laid on a bed. He was like wanting to take uh, a nap. Looking at my camera. Nope, just forward. Just forward. Three, two, one, click. All right, step back up here for me. Right here. Have you used any drugs or alcohol today? Of course, a lot of drugs. Okay. Do you have any medical? Do you have any medical conditions or injuries recently sustained that may require immediate medical conditions? Yeah, I got an eye problem from looking at Fat Boy over there. <laughs> you see, I haven't done absolutely anything. Has Arresty demonstrated any behaviors that might suggest mental illness or mental disability? Yes. Uh, do you want to hurt your, hurt yourself? Behavior, we'll put him down at somewhere between cooperative and threatening. He's a threatening. He's pretty cooperative right now, though. Uh, you know, he has good mental status. Right, Relaxed, right clean, and neat. Skin wait, condition. Wait. Do you get any bruises or anything on you? All right, step up now. No visible. We're going to go with 157. Step off. Do you have a job? 157? Yeah. What do, you do? do you own a house? I break and enter. Do you, do you own a house <laughs> that you don't break into? <laughs> do you have medical insurance? I don't. Do you need a place to live when you get out of jail? No, if I got a spot for me, you say you're going to his wife one day, you stay with him. Do you want to see a counselor about a plan when you get out of jail? No. Thank God. Do you have any religious beliefs or needs that we need to be aware of? Yes. What? All hell plankton. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you do take drugs. That's not a great blood pressure. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, but it's a little high on the dystolic. Yeah. What was his pulse? 101. All right. And we're just going to assume he's not intoxicated. Did you get his O2? Did you get his O2 level? It's coming. 98. How'd you get the scar on the side? Drugs. Oh, oh, <laughs> I love the look, drugs. Look, look, look at the giant scar here. Drugs. <laughs> Jesus. What you do to yourself? Here? Now that you're laid on this side, I can see it. Look. Turn your head. Look, look at that. It's a gnarly scar. 
I was dispatched to the address given a reference to report of a disturbance. When I arrived on the scene, I was met by the complainant who advised me that the suspect was causing a disturbance. He was armed with a concealed weapon and made contact with the suspect and advised him he was under arrest for resisting without violence and concealed weapon. The suspect was then handcuffed and transported to the county jail. So he already, so on his burglary, he had a concealed weapon on him. So, um, that's up a level. Yep. So basically, um, you'll have to see a judge in the morning until you'll be able to bond out and they'll be able to set a bond at that time. Harvey, you can take, you can take that with him and guys that, yeah, that's going to put him back. That's going to do it for this one. I'm Patty Mayo. Remember we put a new asshole in jail almost every day. Subscribe to Fox Recovery and click that join button. You could have seen this three, four, or five weeks ago. I'm Patty Mayo. I already told you that, and I'll see you on the next one. Did you know Patty has a new show? Judge Patty Mayo is now in session. Click the link in the description to subscribe to Patty's newest show, Judge Patty Mayo, where winners are paid by Patty and losers are at the mercy of his resources to collect the debt. Ma'am, you have a hard time with yes or no questions. I don't care how it is. I think you're making up bullshit as you go along. You want the money, she's willing to give you the money, you want the money now. And then the judgment gets lower. Okay, case dismissed. Stop, shut up for a second. You might like this part. You brought her to court and lost? You that dumb. A new episode of Judge Patty Mayo premieres every week on the Judge Patty Mayo channel.